I'll just open it up. Um, we just finished our derby scrimmage, which was over 100 plays with the ones and the twos, and it was really, really good work, physical work. The offense won, I think, I can't remember the final score. They won by five points. I mean, it was, they were, they started off with a big lead, um, jumped out to a big lead, and then uh, the defense came back, had a takeaway late in the scrimmage, and uh, it was really, really good to see. And, and the thing I told them at the end is, you know, we, we try to create this competitive environment. We try to create, you know, today was about winner and loser, but at the end of it, it's over. And you can sense a little bit of the defense upset, offense is happy, but how do we continue to do this, right? You, you compete, and then you come together. And so it was good to kind of just wrap those minds around, a, hey, this is team, it's team. It's 147 days till we get ready to go to Columbus, Ohio, and that's where everybody has to win. Right? It's not offense and defense. So I was really pleased with the work today. Marcus, with just four practices left, including the blue goal game, what's kind of on the top of your to-do list to get done in the next couple of weeks? Well, what we'll do is we'll evaluate, hey, what situational football do we need to really, really um, get on film? I know we don't have we don't have enough third down plays on film from practice. We need to we need to focus on some more third down. Um, but we'll get, I'll give it to the coordinators and we'll really sit down and say, okay, hey, what situations do you need on your side of the ball, offensively and defensively, into the game situations that we need to make sure we get on film so that we can teach and coach from it. And, um, you know, we're gonna have to. I wasn't pleased with. The way we kicked today, we missed a couple field goals. Um, so I want to put those guys in a little bit more competitive situations. Um, but, I mean, other than that, we'll evaluate as a staff and, and we'll end with the spring game. Did you work well together? Uh, I think the, the first thing that sticks out is when I go into the O and D st uh, unit meetings. I'm, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the way Coach Reese and, and um, Coach Golden really just they challenged their, their size of the ball. Um, you know, they're speaking the same language. They're speaking similar language that I speak, and that's what you want to see. You want to see everybody in your program all emphasizing the same things and, and then tailoring it towards their specific schemes. But, um, man, I've been really, really happy in those, those unit meetings. Um, and then we meet as a staff every day. That's something we haven't done in the past, and, and it's very intentional, right, is to make sure that we are becoming a unit. Our coaching staff is, it has to be a unit that trust each other and that, that lean on each other and, and realize we all have each other's back. So that's something that's been very intentional on my end. We're gonna meet as a unit, we're gonna, I mean, meet as a staff. We're gonna talk through things, you know, and it could be a five minute staff meeting, it could be an hour staff meeting, but it won't be because of lack of communication, a lack of trust among the coaches.